Hey guys, um, just a reminder, my presentation is about um, the LGBTQ community and Christianity, um, the acceptance, um, and a little bit about both sides. Um, we are going to be jumping in about halfway through my presentation. Um, we're going to be more focused on the LGBTQ side, uh, a little bit of statistics and mainly um, personal stories. So we'll just uh, go ahead and get started. So, considering 62% of Christians say that um, homosexuality should be accepted um, in the church, um, now keep in mind this is should be accepted and not that they personally accept them. Um, but 62% say that it should be expect accepted. So, there's a good bit of disparity though. Um, there is a study about how um, LGBTQ um, people came out to their church um, and 70% of Christians, uh, LGBTQ Christians, um, church and parents did not accept them. Um, and 43% have been told that if they want to continue being part of the church um, that they are not allowed to express um, who really they are. Um, they're not allowed to tell people about their um, identity. Um, oddly enough, 12% uh, have been completely disowned by both their parents and the church. Um, I expected that number to be a little higher, but 12% is still too much. Um, just broad number though. 86% do not feel accepted by the church. 86%. 86%. That is a huge statistic. So, even though these are just statistics, um, I did want to reach out to people, um, LGBTQ folks that I know. Uh, so, I interviewed 13 people. Out of the 13, one of them felt accepted by Christians. Um, many of them said that it does depend on the certain person. Whether they are a new age Christian is what many of them called it. Um, I believe that just means um, a little more accepting to others. Or whether they are a older Christian who um, sticks to those older values. Interestingly enough, student F, uh, student F said that they're asexual, uh, and they are the one that felt accepted by the church, but we dove a little deeper into this, and we found that the church really doesn't recognize asexuality, so they have no really no idea whether they feel accepted or not because they have brought it up to their pastor um, and their pastor basically said as long as you're not sinning I don't care uh, which is a little interesting to me but that being said almost take student F out of the perspective um, because the church doesn't recognize their sin that just means that the other 12 who the church does recognize their sin, um, they do find that their their sexuality is a sin. Um, the other twelve did not feel accepted, which is a little interesting to me. Now, out of these, um, ten of them are Reformed Christians, which just means that they are no longer Christian because of this. Um, lack of acceptance. But two of them are still Christians and active in the church, which is really promising. And that puts me at about four and a half minutes, so I'll wrap this up.